If you want to instrument and enable telemetry in your Java application to observe it, detect anomalies, and diagnose root causes, there's a quick and easy way. In three quick steps, you can leverage Grafana Cloud using the Grafana Instrumentation Agent to observe your Java application. So, let's instrument our Java application in a quick and easy way. But before we begin, beware, these steps help you to quickly enable observability if your Java application is in the development stage or in a pre-productive environment. In productive environments, it is best to use Data Exporter to send telemetry data to Grafana Cloud. More information on that is in the link above or in the video description. With that cleared out, let's instrument our Java application. First of all, we will need the Grafana agent. To get it, we will go to the agent's repository, which is available in the link below. Once inside, select the latest stable release and then click on Grafana OpenTelemetryJava.jar to download it. Once downloaded, place it in a specific location as we will use it afterward. In this step, we will gather some data needed by the agent in some command line instructions which we will put inside of a shell script or a bat file if you are on Windows. Those commands are easy, but putting them together requires us to gather information from different places. So buckle up, because we will jump around a bit. This is because the agent needs a few things. Permissions to send metrics, indications for naming things, and a few other identifiers if you want to. First, the agent's target is Grafana Cloud, so we must access it to find the necessary details. If you do not have a Grafana Cloud account already, you can get it for free at the link in the corner of the video or in the description below. If this is your first time using Grafana Cloud observability, you must opt in for the Grafana Cloud metrics generation. Note, there is a cost associated with using this feature. More information below. All right, let's create our shell file. How about we name it observemyjava.sh? The other parameters can be copied from the documentation, link above or in the video details. Once you have access to Grafana Cloud and opted in on the metrics generation, go to your Grafana Cloud portal, which is reachable by the link displayed on the screen or in the details below. If your account can access multiple stacks or organizations, first select the ones that you will work on. Otherwise, the default stack and organization will be already selected. Now, go to the section Manage your Grafana Cloud stack and scroll down to Open Telemetry and click on the button Configure. Once inside of the Open Telemetry Configure section, scroll down to the Password API Token section and in it click on Generate Now. That will open a window where we must name the new token that we need to create. Why don't we name it Quick Java Talk? And then we will click on the Create Token button. Once created, click on Close. Do not worry about copying the token right now. We will have it in a moment. Now you will notice that the Password API Token section contains a token, but now as well, underneath the Environmental Variables section also has some commands ready for you. Now it is the time to copy them. Warning, this is the time to copy them and store them. Make sure you do so, otherwise you may have to repeat the steps. Now that we have our access information ready, we will paste it in our shell file. Once we pasted it, we can go and gather the other information bits that we will need. Now, in the copied text, we must define some tagging parameters for our agent, such as the service's name. So, let's name it my quick Java. Lastly, we need to indicate where we save the agent and the path and name of our Java application. Here, I have a super simple Java application that receives some requests here and there and responds with some data delivered back to the user. Okay, let's save our shell or bat file so that we are ready to start the magic. All right, now that we have the agent, the information for the agent, the agent's location and the Java application details, we are ready to execute. So it is time to run the shell or bat file. This will execute all the steps that we just put together to start the Java application with the agent monitoring in it. Once it's running, 
Let's do some requests to the application so that it begins to send some information to Grafana Cloud. Speaking of Grafana Cloud, let's go to our Grafana Cloud platform. There, we must click on the menu icon in the top of the left corner. Then, we will open the Observability menu and click on Application, where we will now see the monitored application. What? There's nothing there? You're looking for something to show up and nothing is that yet? <laughs> Do not worry, it takes a few minutes. So, why don't we go and brew a nice cup of coffee to give it a few minutes. All right, as soon as you are back, check again and you will find your new monitored application displayed there. Click on it and open all the fantastic dashboards with information about your Java application. And there you have it, your Java application is monitored. If you need more information on instrumenting productive environments, please take a look at the observability documentation on the screen or in the video notes. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. Now it's time to enjoy your new superpowers of Java observability. Have a good one!